Hi, it's me, Bam. And exciting news on console, specifically on PS4 and Xbox One, we finally have the old blood. Now, if you're on Nintendo Switch, it should still be coming later on this week. But as far as I know, it is not launching at this moment. Nintendo still need to do their whole sort of thing. But yeah, um, this is technically what we get, but when I actually go into what we get. Okay, so here we see the old blood. Update 26 has arrived. This update, um, it's a mainline update, of course. We get Grendel, we get Melee, Phase 2 changes, Bobin Ember Rework, Kuva Liches, and yeah, we get all this stuff. We get more than that, actually. I'll show you guys after we, we get the, you know, to the thing. Not long. I'm going to probably talk a little bit over this cutscene, but I will be, you know, there's a full subtitle, so you guys can read it. Maybe Queen's notice. Huh. I'll be honest, I saw this cutscene when I um, did the update video for my PC account. But seeing it on TV is something completely different versus seeing it on my monitor. Even maggots can fly. Huh. Yeah. And now let's log in. Now I should get a login reward like normal because I haven't, oh yeah, I did log in. Okay, so upon logging in, and this will be available till January 20th of 2020. So you'll have from now till a little over end of the year, you, when you log in, you will receive a former bundle, seven day affinity booster, as well as you should, uh, I should have received something else, but I didn't get it. Uh, okay, well, what you should receive is a legendary core. Um, if that might be arriving later on, I don't know, but I guess it's a good time to mention that I did receive, you know, day one access. I did receive, you know, the Grendel collection, Titania collection, you know, all this stuff. You know, they're changing mods for the frames, Bat Armor, Kubo Armor, Basca, Kavat Starter Kit. I received those as part of day one access. I'm still, there was still something that I swear, okay, this looks a little bit different to me, honestly. Um, yeah, I, yeah. Okay, anyway, anyway, let's go through some of the changes, okay? There's actually a lot of changes. I'm going to go through. Okay, so the arsenal changes. You'll notice we have a new weapon thingy. Assassin's Creed style for the Parazon. I'm going to go ahead and put this mod on it because why would it not? Okay. This mod would change to be a Parazon mod, so it adds time to hacking, which for those of you guys that watch my stream, by the way, I will be streaming, hunting for my first Kuba Lich on console and whatnot on stream, so definitely feel free to come hang out and check that out. 
the video on the tab. I think it looks spiffy, everything being in their own tab, which kind of, I mean, I think this kind of might be a little helpful for what they plan in the future because as far as I know on one of the dev streams they talked about trying to make it so you can access all of your kvats and kubas from one area so we'll see what happens there with that but, but that's not the only change mind you there is another change which we will go over in a moment let's go to the market real quick so we can just see the stuff there's a grindle collection that you can pick up now there is this the new tenogen bundles and there's also also what i'd like to point out is this Kuba Lich Hunter Collection. You can buy this if you want. It's a lot of platinum. I'm actually going to add it to my wish list on my PS4 account, but I don't expect anyone to get this for me. I'm just adding it for the sake of adding it. It includes one of each of the... Um, you know, mods you need, Requiem mods. Um, it includes a pack, a Requiem relic pack, one containing one of each of the types of relics. It contains some Kuba armor pads and whatnot. New color palettes, which, I mean, does seem pretty cool. Ooh, darkness. Let's get into that. And it's only available in the collection. Okay. Glad I added this to my wish list. If I am being honest myself with myself. So yeah, there's that. Now we also got the goss changes. Um now sorry this video, I know it seems like it's going on for a while, but I, I actually, you know, won't show off a lot of the details. So, I know I keep saying that a lot, but this is the final, probably biggest change. Yeah, I think this can be one of classified as a big change. Go ahead, let's head over to options real quick. Everything's different. Everything just looks different. Now, I do have to check something under audio real quick. Because with a mainline update, okay, it didn't change it. But with a mainline update, there's always a chance that you will lose your customization. That's just the risk with a mainline update. But luckily, I didn't. And that was this. Let me know. Are you excited for the update? Are you, like, not that excited? You're like, yeah, whatever. I wish we would have got a feature version. Because we got all the way up to update 26.0.6. .6. So we do not have 26.0.7. .6. So keep that in mind. And I will be streaming tonight starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I may be a little late. Don't, don't crucify me. If I am a little bit late, don't do that because, you know, stuff. But, yeah, that is my plan. Feel free to come by, hang out. I'm going to be doing stuff in the update, like the Lich stuff and whatnot. So, yeah, and it will be a good time. And 
who knows, I might do a giveaway for maybe 300 Latin, I don't know, maybe, 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 okay. Well, I'm going to call it a video here. Thank you everyone for watching. If you guys like the video, feel free to hit that like button, punch that bell icon to be notified right when my videos go live. And if you're not subscribed already, feel free to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the future. Later.